Welcome back to Chasing Trophies. My name is Chase, and today we're racing out Badlands in South Carolina. Got my pit all set up. Everyone else is set up their little tiny homes out here. Got Derek over there. I'm mooching off of his power. The track's looking great. They just freshly groomed it. I'd actually never uh, raced here on this new layout. I came here, let's say like four years ago, back when I got back into RC. I bought a Losi Mini T which is not <laughs> meant to go on an eight skill track. This is the first place that I ran that little thing right after I bought it at the hobby shop. Pretty rad layout though. I ran some laps on already. I was running on my little Chinese tires. So they're not the absolute best. So I'm throwing on some Proline Convicts, some M4, power, uh, M4 compound. And I'm hoping that'll be helping me out a little bit qualifying starts at 10 o'clock I'm hoping we can snag that podium feeling pretty good out there to be honest even with cheap tires Ta-da! I suck at driving. I'm hoping that that screw is not broken inside of there. I'm hoping the screw and piston are in here. Ugh. I have to rebuild. I might as well rebuild both of them if, uh, so I can keep the front end consistent. I don't even know what shock loads are in here because someone else built it. All right. Fix them both. This one's got a messed up uh, machine bushing, but I don't have any other options, so I'm running it. And this is the other one that did not break. And when I was doing the little squishy, squishy bleed bleed for the bubbles, I noticed that shaft was loose too. So God only knows what the rears look like, but I'm not gonna crack into those because I hate doing this. Nothing I hate more than rebuilding shocks. This 40 weight seems really tough. So that's what the main one called for, so. That's what we're sticking with. From this point on, I will not be buying a used truck ever again. I'm done with that stuff. So this person who built these didn't use the proper tools, they didn't lock tight the piston screws that go in there didn't feel like the right weight was in there based on the manual which is fine because someone may have tuned it but from what I was told when I bought this or when I, when I bought this was that it was built and then ran around outside and then that was it so I'm done buying used you gotta 
if you want your shit to be right, you gotta build it from the kit. Also, these are the two screws that went into the bottom of the shock into the control arm. Uh, they are not the same size. I don't know if you can even see that. Dude, dumb. So, I'm done buying used stuff. Build it from the kit, you'll save money, you'll save headache. Your shit will be more consistent and it will actually work if you build it yourself. Something a little funny. I'm gonna try filming with that for all, both qualifyings and single, I mean? I don't know yet. We haven't had the driver's meeting yet. We'll go bother Derek. How are you feeling, sir? Fast. Are you ready for the Psycho Nitro Blast? Uh, yeah, I think so. Hell yeah. Okay. Got confidence with the truck, not really. Uh... You're running these two? Yeah, just nitro truck and nitro buggy. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. You think you're in a place very well? Hey, I'm swinging for the fence. I haven't raced nitro since I was 12. Yikes. And I'll be 30 in October. So. What was that, probably an HPI? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, it was my RC GT2. Nice. You going to Psycho? I got family. I'm not going either, but that's not because I have family. It's because I'm I'm poor and I'm bad. Uh, I'm poor and I'm bad. What is it? Two weeks? Actually, so. I'm out. I'll be. Uh... What happened to you? Oh, it's a bad land. Yeah, you. You ain't kidding. Snap top and bottom. You snap what? Oh, the oh, control arm. Yeah. Wow. Here it's the pump. Yikes. <laughs> One race sheet. We're gonna be done by like two o'clock today. Uh, no. Open e buggy. E buggy's the biggest heat. Yeah, fourteen. I was hoping today would be a lot more. I wonder if everybody's at World RC or something. Sorry. Alright, let's just put him in and uh, just come down the floor just a little bit. Let me get you checked in as well. Start 
killer run uh, I think I heard him say I took first in that qualifier which being the first qualifier can totally be a fluke or maybe I'll I'll get stomped on in the next two or a break it's always up in the air with me but I felt like I ran really good I'm really excited to watch that onboard footage because there were some tight little battles that would look awesome on those there's one where I was running through the rhythm section and I was just following the dude, that was awesome. I'm excited, I'm excited to watch that. I'm excited for you guys to see that. But I'm gonna see if I can get me some snacks. They're having soccer games over here for the kids. There's a, a snow cone truck. Might check that out. But I'm actually hungry hungry, so I don't really want a snow cone, I want more like a hot dog or pizza. <laughs> dude. These aren't supposed to spin like this. Halfway through my qualifier, my drive shaft little set screw, set screw pin came out and I couldn't drive in a straight line it seemed like. So I thought something was bound up or I, I mean, I was just worried about breaking something else. I don't like, I don't like pushing stuff when it's not operating right, especially when you don't know. But if I had known it was just my drive shaft, I generally drive two wheel drive 10 scale. So I would have just tried my best to run this thing two wheel drive so I can track down stupid drive shaft pin and we can get back on the track oh shit was that the fucking screw oh oh shit I think I found the screw that I stopped me from running. Possibly. I don't know. We'll find out. Alright, so I have Loctited. Loctited. I have... Anyways, 
that guy and that guy I don't see any more on the drive shaft those are dog bone fiddly bits I'm gonna look this thing over and make sure I can make it as hard as possible for me to DNF next round this is very frustrating but I'm done buying used kits uh, when I get home from this race whether I take first place in all the bananas or if I DNF in the main this thing is getting a full tear down every single nut and bolt is getting pulled out and put back in I don't care I need to rebuild the front shocks I'm sure I need to rebuild the rear shocks just wasn't taken care of I thought I thought I bought a buggy that was uh, not used very much but really I just bought a buggy that wasn't built properly the bottom screw for this this strut was coming out so I found that uh, just looked everything over so I'm hoping nothing happens but we're gearing up I'm gonna go get ready go watch that first qualifying race and then we're up no car feels pretty good uh, I really hate these tires they're really not grabbing nothing and I my other tires are less pinny I do have these though but they're like not good like you can even see just in the tread how lumpy they are so I'm not gonna run those those can stay there for now these are just my bash round cars I guess not really bash but if I go to a track I'll run these first so I don't ruin some tires but drove great I'm surprised that this guy right here is not making my car drive weird it actually drives just fine and I, I'm just driving it. I first I was scared, and maybe that's why I did good the first qualifier. But first I was scared about its condition after a race, and now I don't really care. And it's taken some serious slams. So, but I'm just gonna, honestly, I'm probably not even gonna show the qualifier two and three. It was really just qualifier one that looked awesome when I was ripping it. I think we're doing double A possibly triple a we got such a small crowd today that i think he's just he just put the race program is just like <laughs> let's have fun and race as much as we can which i am totally fine with i love this eye charger i recommend it to, i recommend it to everybody that is either getting into racing is into racing whatever i mean it's it's a hefty price tag, but it is worth every penny. We're going to have to check out the race directory. We are running all 14 e-buggies at the same time. This is about to be hectic, so I'm excited for this onboard footage. Hopefully I can not DNF, but it's just going to be a battle of... We're not going to be racing, it's just going to be making sure you can get through lap traffic. This is going to be exciting. But I started sixth, so I qualified sixth. So I was half and half. I'll take it. I wasn't really trying too hard today. It's kind of just driving. Everybody should know their own spots. We all looked at the yeah, race directory. He's on number eight. Okay. Number twelve. Sam Crow. Alright, start with the Alright, here we go, drivers. Over the time.
What the? Hey, heads up on the way. Oh shit. Very nice guys, very nice. <clears throat> I'm racing and who I'm passing. I don't... It is truly chaos. Right, Oh shit, sorry about that man. That way, on the side, 
Fantastic race. That was awesome. And we gotta take that car. Derek, 26-5 he says? 26-5 he says? Oh, shit. 26-5. 
26 second hot lap? Are you kidding me? That's what we do around here. Damn. Good job. Cody Bay, Tim Sink, David Smith to the podium. Top three. Wow, that was literally like insanity. That was a lot of fun. 14 cars at one time. It was definitely just racing around lap traffic. I took fourth place out of 17 people. No, 14. I'm an idiot. Seven, fourth place out of 14 people. Pretty happy with that. I also ran a 26 second lap. Uh, not flat. I think it was like a 26.6 or 26.5 or something like that, he said. But I'm going to take that as my win today. Today was just for fun. It's just club racing. No trophies today. But. Nitro is setting up. They're about to be running three five-minute mains. Run five five-minute main, then we're gonna refuel, then a five-minute main, refuel, five-minute main. So they don't have to pit. Uh, we don't have a lot of people. They're just gonna run their races and and we're headed home. I appreciate all you guys watching. Hope you guys love the action, because I did. Today was a blast. If you guys leave a like, hit the subscribe, do whatever you gotta do, hit that bell if you're really that dedicated. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next race.